insider. I'm not wearing pants, so I don't think I can record this because I kind of have to stand up, but um, I'll keep y'all posted. If you're a hypocrite and you know it, clap your hands. Hi guys, so as you can see, um, I'm going to be dyeing my hair while bleaching it at home because I saw this TikTok and I can't find it anymore for whatever reason. I thought I saved it on my phone. I thought I saved it in my favorites on TikTok, but apparently I didn't. And I saw that she did just this patch of her hair. It was a professional that did it, but I thought, is it really like that hypocritical if I'm the one doing it, I'm the professional, so, you know, and it's just a patch. So we are gonna go ahead and see what it does, okay? So I have everything over here. You guys can't see it, but I have everything. So we're just going to start the process, shall we? I don't know, I'm just bored with my hair. And, oh, no, I don't need it, I'm okay. Well, maybe, let me get it. I'm just bored with my hair, to be honest. I wanna do something different. I, I don't know. I'm probably gonna cut some of it too, depending on how much like comes off, but I don't know. I'm just very all over the place and I just thought why not to be honest so this is 40 volume I'm gonna do a little bit of 40 with 10 because I do need to lift quite a bit but I want to dilute it a lot so it like lifts enough but doesn't go crazy I don't know Oh, I forgot my whisk. Hold on. And like, I know my hair is really sensitive. So I'm really nervous about this, but I don't know. I just don't trust salons. I don't, mm, I really just don't. I don't trust salons and I feel like, yeah, I'm better off just doing it by myself. And it's just a patch. So if it comes out really bad, then, you know, that's a consequence of my actions. So here we go. Mixed it up. I already have my foils um, pre-done. So, and I gelled down my hair on the side to help me out a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna go in with small sections. Nothing crazy. Small sections. Whew. This one. All right. Here we go. I don't know. I'm over here. I talk about everybody else. And I'm over here doing my hair at home. What a hypocrite. But at least I know what I'm doing, kind of. You know what I mean? The very least, I have a license and I understand color theory and proper application. So, just gonna really saturate it like. I always tell y'all, really saturate the hair. Make sure you're not rushing and getting every strand and every piece. And then I'm just gonna hold it 
like so. Do the next one. Taking really thin pieces, as you can see. Brushing it out. Now maybe it's really long. Oh, that's pretty good. So. Okay, that was a bad one. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Oh my God. Okay, see, this is why it doesn't matter. You just shouldn't do your hair at home. But, and I just wanted like a cute blonde. I don't want it too ashy. I want it like a, like a nice complimentary color to what I have going on with my natural hair. So we'll see. This is a lot more complicated on yourself. My God. Should probably put this mirror closer to me. Did you guys watch the Grammys last night? Um, I don't watch the Grammys. I don't watch any award show. I really don't care about award shows, like even a little bit, but I saw that Olivia Rodrigo got best new artist as she should, okay? I don't care what anybody says. Some people are such haters right now and they're saying that she didn't deserve that. I don't know who you are and I don't know why you say that, but my girl did her thing on that Sour album and I don't care what anyone says. Hear me when I tell you. Driver's license is my song. And I'm telling you, anyone who is hating on my girl, I don't know. What other um, award did she get that a lot of people did not agree with? She got another Grammy. I think Best Pop Album. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that one because she was up against a lot of people, like a lot of really good people. Like I think it was Doja Cat that was nominated for that one. And what's her name? Ariana Grande. So, I mean, I don't know if I would say, I could see why she won it. Do I think she deserved best pop album? Um, that's debatable. But best new artist, absolutely. She really did because Sour is a really good album. <laughs> I don't care, fight me, fight with yourself because I really love that album. <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed too because with the people, with the public, because I'm like, I think it's crazy how like everybody that like was getting the awards was like, oh my God, this is the best moment for me, yada, yada, yada. But I'm like, I thought everybody was like against the Grammys and we weren't supposed to be like, you know, caring. I thought when Drake broke his Grammy, that was like the whole Grammys don't matter movement, right? Because I'm sorry, the barb in me, I, as much as I like Cardi B, I don't think she deserved album of the year that year. Um, but I also think that Nicki Minaj, like you kind of realize how much the Grammys are anything because Nicki Minaj has never gotten a Grammy. And one thing that I saw today too is that Katy Perry has never won a Grammy. And that's just, that's not okay. That is not okay that y'all are snubbing the greats out of Grammys who rightfully deserve them. I'm sorry. Like. There is no reason Nicki Minaj should not have a Grammy. There's no reason Katy Perry should not have a Grammy. So. But anyway. Did y'all watch it? I'm kind of happy that the Grammys happened because I'm so sick and tired of talking about the Oscars. 
or not even me, just people in general talking about the Oscars. Maybe I'm just like different, but I really don't think the Will Smith thing was that big of a deal. To be quite honest with you, I don't see the reason why it's being dragged out as long as it is. Do I think he should have slapped Chris Rock? Do I think he should have slapped Chris Rock? No. My stance on it is like, you made a really bad joke and you got slapped for it. I don't know. Maybe it's just like me, but I don't see, like, I don't see why people are making such like think pieces on it. Because to me, it's just like, okay, you're gonna talk about his wife? You talking about my wife? You're gonna talk about her? You can get slapped. Like, you made a joke that he didn't like or his wife didn't like, so you got slapped for it. I don't think it's news. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's because it was at the Oscars. So like, sure, that's why it's such a big deal. But at the same time, like, I don't see why it's like, he's getting blacklisted and it's all of a sudden a threat to society. Like, shut up. Who cares, bro? Like, honestly, who cares? But then again, I was like, sir, you are Will Smith. You are an icon in Hollywood. If you wanted to ensure that Chris Rock never hosted or never got another opportunity ever again, you have that power. So why you thought the best thing to do was to slap that man? <laughs> I don't know. Cause like he could have pulled a Nicki Minaj, you know, with the Miley Cyrus thing. He could have pulled that and you know, he, cause these people know that they're gonna win these awards. So it's like, you could have been like, Chris Rock was good. You know, you could have pulled one of those and met him outside or something. You didn't really have to get up and slap him. But I mean, hey, he did. But it kind of goes to show that, like, <sighs> violence is really not the answer. Even if you feel justified and even if, like, you kind of are justified, in the eyes of society, it's just really never the answer because you're always going to come out wrong. Like, you're always going to get the short end of the stick because no matter what your reasoning people are going to t like stand on the side of like you should have never hit him like hitting is very frowned upon but like a lot of people and i've noticed this a lot of people are just against violence like a lot of people don't feel like there is like violence is ever appropriate so it's like you kind of shot yourself in the foot. Even though I get it and I don't think it's a big deal and like a lot of people don't think it's a big deal, you kind of did shoot yourself in the foot with that because violence is never the answer. Especially when you're like a celebrity. Like you don't have the same, you don't have the same, same luxuries as us common folk to just be slapping people and you know no one cares you know people people fight all the time like hello i live in miami i see fights on the street over like road rage so i get it but it's not mm, i don't know I kind of feel like it's not that deep, but at the same time, if I was a Smith, if I was a Will Smith, you would never see the inside of an award show ever again. Everything that everybody says that Nicki Minaj does to other people would be me. And like, hello, 
Will Smith is definitely more powerful than Chris Rock. Like, let's be serious. So if I was Will Smith, I'd be like, I'm not coming to your show if that fool is there. I don't care. Blackball him. You have so much money and so much power, you could do anything you want to that man. You never had to get your hands dirty and slap him yourself. But then again, I see the point. It was like, I don't care. I don't care who I am. I don't care where we are. You know, I to talk about my wife. My wife. You know, I get it. Completely get it. But it is messed up though. I don't understand why everybody's dragging Jada. That I don't. Like she literally did not do anything but exist. She didn't make a comment. She didn't say anything. She and people are dragging her for a joke that was made at her expense. And her husband, who decided she didn't, I don't know, did she was she the one that was like hit him? Like, why is everybody mad at her? I don't know. Not with that at all. Okay. We're, we're doing good here. We're doing good here. I was kind of nervous because I really don't have that much bleach. So I was nervous to see if I was going to have enough for the section, but I do. My only thing is I just want to make sure it comes out even. That's my biggest, biggest thing. That's why I'm spending so much time going back and forth, making sure it's saturated because then I'm going to go back through. And then once this lifts a good amount, I'm going to go back through and um, do the roots. So. I don't know, guys. I'm just... Am I going through it? No, actually, I'm not. I'm actually doing pretty well mentally now. So... I just, I'm, I'm getting bored with my hair, to be honest. I'm getting real bored with it. I feel like it's just super long, one color, one haircut. It's not really giving, it's not really getting anything. Last piece. This is like the most important piece cause the top. <laughs> All right. So this is what we're working with. I'm gonna wait about like 20 minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and start the roots. Okay, so I just checked this bottom oil and my hair is definitely lifting super duper fast. So let's go ahead and make sure that's not gonna put bleach in this section. I Okay, so this part I didn't think that well. So we're just gonna pull this down a little bit and we're gonna start mixing the developer. And this got on my ear and it does not feel good. I'm not going to put complete, hold on. I'm not gonna put a full 40 volume on my roots because i don't think it's necessary i'm just gonna do 20. so we'll see how this goes and i just guesstimate when it comes to bleach it all does the same thing i just have to be careful with the back to make sure my sectioning is still okay and um insider i'm not wearing pants so i don't think i can record this because i kind of have to stand up but um i'll keep y'all posted okay so i began applying it to my roots now i'm gonna take it out of the foils and jeez louise 
Okay, that's not a good sign. I probably shouldn't have pulled my hair like that. Let me see, I'm looking through the foils to see if I ripped out part of my hair. Mm, no. Mm, not as bad as I suspected. I mean, obviously there's gonna be damage, but nothing too wild. So we are just going, oops. I gelled my hair for this reason. So I'm gonna saturate it and saturate. The top, we want nice and even lifts. Nothing less than even. And you see, it's a good even lift because I made sure to take small sections and really saturate the hair. Your head should be heavy. Okay. Okay. Making sure I got this. Not bad. Not bad so far. I'm just making sure my hair stays really nice and saturated. I don't really know what to do with this, to be honest, because I feel like my hair is so long. Let's wrap it in foil. That sounds like a good idea. Keep it nice and toasty. Not for nothing, I think this is coming out pretty good. Like, to be honest. Okay, still gonna check this out. At this point, I just want the top to match the bottom. I don't want my hair to be too bright, like I said. I'm not looking for a super ooh, blonde blonde. No, that needs a little bit more time. But so far, so good. Top still needs some time. Y'all look at this. That is a nice even application and a nice even lift. So now I'm just going to let the um I had to pull the hair out, but um I'm just gonna let this top portion kind of catch up and let the bottom kind of dry out but y'all i don't know are you guys being able to see this looking good you kind of take you see There's some pieces better than others, that's okay. I don't need this to be any blonder, to be honest. Or I don't want it. Well, I don't really care. It can get a little lighter, but I'm very satisfied with this. I just need the top to catch up. I'm feeling it. Are you guys feeling it? Who knows, I might just do the other side. <laughs> I don't have the bleach for it today, but who knows. This is a fun time. I think so anyway. I didn't show you guys the back, but this is the back. Hi. So I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 minutes, to be honest, I'm not gonna go crazy with it. I just need the top to catch up. And once that's done, wash this out and tone it. So far, so good. It came out really even. Like, I'm very, very surprised. Any of the dark pieces that you're seeing is hair that got mixed in when I was shampooing because I just wanted to make sure the bleach didn't like bleed through my dark hair. But y'all, look, it came out really even. 
I'm so excited. It, it takes a toll on your hair, that's for sure. So I'm just gonna comb it out a little bit because we're about to tone. So it's not showing up how bright it is on camera. It's coming up like, I mean, it is still kind of orange, but it's not as orange as the camera's making it seem. But I'm gonna go ahead and tone it. So I have two options I'm gonna do. So I have Kenra um, A.N. Ash. My hair is an eight. So I'm gonna see if I can, I only have this much left. So I'm gonna see if this is gonna work for me. So, but if it doesn't, for whatever reason, it's oxidized, but don't worry, it's okay. Um, for whatever reason, if this doesn't work for me, I have Kenra um, 7SM, and that's a silver metallic, so that'll probably save me. But I think this, this Aiden will do. But I'm really happy with how well it came out. Like, what? It, make, it makes my hair look so much darker. So, don't mind my princess towel. Let's go ahead and put in some developer. Okay. This does not have to be perfect at all. So, we're just gonna go in. And this I don't have to be so careful because it's just toner. So, if it gets in my other hair. It, it is what it is. Did you guys see what happened with Cardi B? Once again, once again, everybody's like, oh my god, she shouldn't be telling people that her mom died. I don't understand what it is with fans. I'm telling you, I could never be a celebrity, like ever because i think i would be just as just as terrible to fans because i'm like did y'all did y'all hear what happened with doja cat how people got mad at her because they went they took it upon themselves to go to her hotel room after her show got canceled because of the weather and they decided to go to her hotel room and got bad because she didn't come outside what owes you that like what is wrong with people she does not like if it got canceled because of weather and then y'all are sitting here mad because like oh we risked our we risked our lives for the potential to see you it's like i don't i, I never understood that like why are people so weird like how do you not think that that's weird and then the nerve and the entitlement to think that that person has to come out and talk to you just because you did that what is wrong with you people are so weird and I, I, I can't get over it I really cannot like I'm telling you if I was famous I'd be a party B. I I can't even lie to you oh I'm getting toner on the floor hold on I gotta do this first. I gotta put me first. Sorry. I gotta do this first and then I'll worry about the floor. Oh no. Like, who do you think you are that a celebrity needs to, like obviously if it's a severe weather or whatever that enough to the show got canceled, like take yourself home. What is wrong with you? Just, ooh, was that there the whole time? Sorry. But then again, I don't know. People be weird, y'all. Like, I'm sorry. Like, there is a clear balance between supporting somebody and just, like, being completely invasive. And weird. I'm, I don't care. And no one else is gonna say I will. That's weird. You're weird. <laughs> what? And it's the same thing. I posted this on my Instagram story. Um, Lotto posted a DM that somebody sent her talking about how she's gaining weight. 
And she was like, the person was like, I just would want somebody to tell me instead of talk about me. It's like, who are you? You're not my friend. I don't know you. What is wrong with you? To think that you are like, <laughs> what? I can't. I don't understand stamp culture. I don't understand people that are so obsessed with celebrities. Like, get help, please. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that on for about 10 minutes, see where that goes. My head is kind of, uh, can't even lie. It's getting to me. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, so, so far, I thought I was gonna have, I was gonna wanna retone it but I'm kind of feeling like this honey blonde color. I like the honey blonde in contrast with my natural hair color. So I'm going to hop in the shower and wash the rest of my hair and then we'll come back. But I'm feeling it though. I really am. I'm really feeling it. So it is the next day don't mind my lips right now because i have like foundation and stuff on it but guys i really like it i really really do i think it looks so cute i really like it i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i don't i don't know i'm kind of conflicted because it is like a nice honey blonde i don't know Yesterday, I was like going back and forth. I was like, mm, should I retone it? But then I was like, I don't want it to be ashy. I don't want it to be like an ashy blonde. But I really like it, y'all. I'm really feeling it. Like, hey, Patch. Hey, girl. I kind of look bald, but it's okay. And like, honestly, my hair is not... Like, when I was washing it and stuff, the hair that was going down the drain was my dark hair, not um, not the blonde, so... Well, hey, mm -hmm. if you were thinking about doing it, um, do it the way I showed you, okay? Because it came out so cute. And use good products so your hair doesn't fall out. But yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. This was fun. If I do this again, I'll definitely keep recording. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all was my hair completely done my makeup done because i was looking rough i was editing the video last night and i was like oh my god i look crazy to just be back and forth and i gotta be careful because i'm not wearing a bra so yeah hey personal but yeah let me know what you guys think oh i'm in love with it i really do like it oh this is so cute anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think of my hair and yeah i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you in my next video Bye.